mi gente, bienvenidos a mi nuevo video. Hola mi gente, bienvenidos a un nuevo video. Mi nombre es Danida Durán, por si no lo sabían. Hoy decidí hacerles un makeup tutorial a how I get ready to take pictures in my room, una sesión de fotos en mi cuarto. I feel like this is looking like a catfish makeup tutorial, I guess. I'm gonna call it like that porque like I don't get ready when I'm outside that's kind of weird yeah and today I was like why not do a video how I get ready I do I low-key have learned throughout the days like throughout the days throughout time pues se aprende algo nuevo like antes no sabía como hacer mis cejas que se vean parejitas so it's like I've learned. I watched a lot of YouTube videos too in the past and I have some tips for you all that I use para hacer una catfish. Oh my goodness. If you guys ever wondered, oh my god, how does she look? Goes from this to this. Just keep on watching before we start. Antes de empezar con todo, sí me bañé, me lavé la cara, me lavé los dientes y I used a little razor to take off all my facial hairs on my face. This creates a smooth, clean base for my makeup. Para mis cejas, yo uso este brand en el color, en el color, este color pues, que yo no sé cómo se llama, pero... Lo uso. I'm not gonna even try to read it because no, se van a burlar de mí. So, lo primero que hago en mi maquillaje routine, I start with my cejas. So I go from bottom to top, outlining them, and then I start filling them in. cuando I feel like I'm satisfied with them looking like así like I don't know es como que ok Dani you got it entonces um, I go in with primer products they're from Smashbox este la otra este es el photo finish el original yeah they should go like that This is a primer plus moisturizer and I do double this up. I only put it in my T-zone. I'm gonna put it here like I see. No also foundation if you guys have seen my last video. I really don't. Um because I I just can't find the right color shade I am and I just like me da hueva pues me da hueva buscar el shade entonces un día fui por un concealer y una de las de las trabajadoras ahí me dijeron oye ocupas ayuda a buscar tu, tu concealer shade and I was like yes I do and so I told her that I wanted it not as light but I didn't want it as like dark. So she's like, oh, you want it like looking like your foundation? So I was like, yes, low key, like, it's not my foundation shape, but it's a little brighter than that, you know? So I was like, okay, pues. Y me buscó este, I'm the, um, the shade Light Sand. Light Sand. Y lo que yo uso para cuando lo voy a usar para mis cejas, I just like do a little dash like this. Like that. I start off on the front and then I go straight to the bottom. Okay, and then con lo que tengo en esto, I try bajándolo, making it like that. And then I do leave it así. I connect the lines in the front. This helps me, this guides me or something. Este, para que se vean como que son eco. 
que así tienen que estar tus cejas y así tienen que estar tus cejas. So, tú tienes que hacerle así, like, no box them, pues, but like, you know, you have to know where, where it is, you know? It's like a little bit así. Entonces, just know and then you just fill this part out. I continue using the concealer I have here and I use this flat brush flat blood flat brush I'm going to apply concealer and because I do have veiny eyes. So in this part, I'm going to tape. So I use these two shades to create a transition shade. I then go in with a darker shade for my lid. This creates a smoky effect. Ay, babosa, me asustas, burra. So I used the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Palette and I used this tart oleolithine. Cuando se te seca el producto, just put some drops of this and literally it's back to normal. So I outline my nose, my lips, my cheekbones, my forehead, anything that I want to um, hacer que se vea small. So I apply bronzer almost everywhere I had the cream from the beginning. And I just apply it everywhere. This creates more of a pop-out effect. The second step after bronzer, I go in with blush. I apply it in my cheekbones, my chin, my nose, a little bit on my forehead. If you know me, I love to bake. So I put some in my forehead, my chin, upper lip where it creases, under my eyes, anywhere basically I want that light tone, you know? So for setting spray, I use two products. I don't know why, just don't ask. Just because. Then I comb my eyelashes and then I apply some mascara. So I could apply my eyelashes after. It's like I'm just playing bro, just dry your hair.
Anyways, yeah. Afterwards, I apply my eyelashes. Oh, oh, oh. Then apply mascara and eyeliner under my eyes. If I don't do this step, then it's not complete. Luego I comb my hair. This step is optional. I use a toothbrush and gel to back all my baby hairs. And then I use gloss. Este, denle like si les gustó este video, la verdad, I had fun. No más que mi, oh my god, dude. My eyes, just like, why can't they be just twins? Anyways, pero, yeah, denle like. And thanks for all the subscribers that have been following me. Thank you guys, I appreciate it a lot. But yeah. Oh yeah, this is the way you catfish someone, bro.